Here's what's been making the business headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken hailed progress in the construction of the Lobito Corridor rail link during a visit to Angola on Thursday. It is moving uh, faster and further, I think, than we even might have imagined. The U.S. has been supporting the project that links the resource-rich Democratic Republic of Congo and Zambia to the port of Lobito in Angola. That bypasses logistics bottlenecks in South Africa that have held up exports of copper and cobalt. That South African freight crisis also resulted in exports from the Richards Bay coal terminal falling in 2023 by over 6% year-on-year, to their lowest level in three decades. State-owned freight rail and port operator Transnet has been struggling due to a shortage of locomotives and spares, as well as cable theft and vandalism. Also on South Africa, Israeli airline El Al on Friday said it was suspending its route to Johannesburg at the end of March. That's after South Africa accused Israel of the genocide of Palestinians in a case heard at the World Court. An El Al spokesperson said Israelis don't want to fly to South Africa. Ethio Telecom on Tuesday posted a 14% rise in half-year profit. The Ethiopian state-owned company's results were boosted by growth in its mobile phone-based financial service, Telebir. And finally, Guinea is exploring building a new oil terminal in the capital, Conakry, within the next 6 to 12 months, an advisor to the Prime Minister said on Thursday. That's following an explosion in December that killed 23 people and severely damaged the terminal's main storage facility. Guinea does not produce oil and relies on imports of refined products.